Okay, so now I'm going to highlight a little problem that you get on some DC fast chargers. It's to do with the uh, way that the station is laid out and how the uh, charge cables uh, are what goes wrong. So I've opened up the, uh, the left charging port, which has got the charter my fast charger, DC fast charging port. Uh, so I'll just zoom in and show you that if you haven't seen one before. I've got other videos um, about DC fast charging, so you've got to search for those. Um, so that it mainly uses these two large pins. There's a cover that there's a cover here that closes uh, over to uh, you know keep that uh, dry and clean. And you've got the cover that covers over the outside. Got to close the close the charging port. Now this uh, this charging port just seems to open. There's no there's no lock or latch on there. You just open it up and plug it in. Uh, there's no no uh, little trigger to open the charging flap as far as I can see. So if I just walk up and grab the the charge cable here. There we go, see that, um, that Chardamo, Chardamo charge point. See, if I get here, it's not like petrol. You can't just plug it in, it, it has to be actually aligned the right way around, so the cable's not long enough to reach the port. So in order to use this charger, you have to park the van sideways on the charger. So. It's good because there's no cars around here, so I'm going to try it out just for fun. Now at this point, I'm aware that anybody who walks by or drives by will be looking at me like really strange, like, that guy can't park. That's not how you're meant to park. But I'll show you what the problem is again from the other side. There we go. So I managed to plug in the van, but you can see, so there's, there's one park there, and there's another park there and the remaining parks over there so this is a little bit of a problem so this is just one of these things there's a few cars bmw i3 can have its charge port kind of on the side as well and I'm just trying to think of other vehicles there's some vehicles which have the charge port in the tail but because effectively because this car has the charge port halfway between each set of wheels you know it's it's quite middle of the vehicle um, the uh, the back of the van overhangs that end so you can't back up to charge it and you can't go in forward to charge it so this is going to be a little bit of a problem in some charging locations but on the bright side I'll show you another point the van is uh, shorter than the width of two standard car parks so generally each charger like that one there has two car parks so you could probably back in between the two car parks and then pull a kind of a really tricky uh, turn maneuver and get close to the charging socket problems This short video is called How to Fast Charge a Mitsubishi Mini Cab Van in a Standard uh, Pair of, uh, or a Single uh, Pair of uh, Car Parks with a Single Charger, um, which uh, lines up the charter mode port of the van with the uh, short length cable, so it's a little tricky. But just, just watch, it'll be easy. So just line up basically with the center of the car park and then pull a turn at the last minute. So that should actually work out. So halfway through the car parking maneuver, you'll be there. So you can see that the van doesn't uh, encroach on the space of this next car park over. What you do is you line up as if you're heading towards the car park in the bottom left-hand corner. So driving backwards from down the car park line up to drive over that green fast charger logo and then when you're kind of like near enough back then just pull the steering lock to full turn and you'll end up being able to back back to that point at which point you'll be just like nicely parked so that the cable will reach and with a bit of luck if i walk around the back of the van uh, the van won't be overhanging the other car park so let's have a look what happens
and there we go so if there was uh, a car in the next car park where this garden is in this case I would actually be all right because I would be relatively within the bounds of the car parking so that would kind of work it doesn't really look elegant and people will like look at you really weird like why did you choose to park that way but if they walk around they'll be able to see what the uh, what the case is there so you could do it you could do it if there was another park another car parked on this uh, third uh, this third painted space so that, that would actually work out so you can do it so you, it, it would be doable but tricky just getting some people looking at me a little odd and then uh, a guy yelled out um, he was driving a four-wheel drive, he works on one of the road construction projects. He yelled out, hey, I watch you on YouTube, thanks. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty awesome. So there we are, that's uh, a Tritium uh, DC fast charger. These are 50 kilowatt fast chargers, which most, uh, uh, as far as I know, uh, all the DC fast chargers in New Zealand are going to be 50 kilowatt or 25 kilowatt, just depending on the design. There's a few different models around. 